Hello friends, this video on Heron's formula part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The topics to be covered in this chapter are introduction. We'll try to find the area of triangle by using Heron's formula. We'll tell you what is Heron's formula. We'll see the application of Heron's formula in finding the area of quadrilateral. And then we'll go for a quick summary. A very short chapter where we'll see what is Heron's formula and the application of Heron's formula. So what is Heron's formula? See, Heron's formula is nothing but a formula given by Heron. He is from Egypt. This guy Heron is from Egypt. And he gave a formula to find area of any triangle whose sides are known. For example, if there is a triangle whose sides A, B and C. When it's a side, that means for example, if A, B, C is a triangle, or let's suppose P, Q is a triangle. If P, Q is a triangle, and the side's length are A, B and C, all small. So in that case, he gave us a formula to find area of any triangle. And that is nothing but S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C root. So A, B, C is nothing but sides, you can see, right? These are all sides of the triangle. And S is nothing but semi-perimeter. Semi-perimeter when you say, so you know perimeter, perimeter is nothing but sum of the length of all the sides that is a plus b plus 2 so when you say semi you divide by 2 that is a plus b plus c by 2 that is s so s is a plus b plus c by 2 so you put in this formula you get the area of triangle the proof of this was given in a book called metrica this is written by heros also called hero's formula also called hero's formula so we'll study more about this in detail, but the special about point about uh, the Heron's formula is typically we know how to find the area of a right triangle, right? If I know height, I can find the area of right triangle. I know how to find the area of equilateral triangle. So those formulas I know, but for any triangle, for example, there is a triangle like this, okay, something like this. How will you find the area? Correct. Sometimes you get this kind of triangles. So this formula is applicable for or any type of triangle that is the specialty of this formula any type of triangle you can actually find the area if you know the sides we will study in detail about this just understand Heron's formula is nothing but formula by Heron's of Egypt this guy was from Egypt place Alexandria and he gave a formula to find area of any triangle okay so we have keywords, area and triangle. We know what is area, we know what is triangle, but we'll briefly touch upon this as well. Okay. So the next question is why study here on the formula? So we have real life situation where we have to find the area of a triangular plot, plot or area of any plot. So let's suppose we have a plot like this. You, you plan to buy a land and this land is of this shape. You can measure all these sides with a tape. Now we want to find the area of this. How will you do? So if you can break this into two triangles, right? And let's suppose it is A, B, C, D. So you can find the area of triangle A, B, C and you can find the area of triangle A, C, D because you know the length of all these sides, right? You can actually measure A, B, B, C, C, D, A, D and A, C. So once you know the length of the sides, you can actually find the area of triangle using Heron's formula. If the triangle is a plot for which you want to find the area is triangular, then your life is all the more easy. You just have to measure all this length. Okay. Let this be PQR. So you have to measure side PQ, QR, and PR length, and then you can just apply Heron's formula to find the area of the plot. So it is typically used to find the area of the plot. The plot can be triangular or quadrilateral. So if it is quadrilateral, we will actually break into various triangles. Okay. So since we talk, all talk about area, so let's quickly break upon what is area. See area is nothing but the amount of space inside the boundary of a two dimensional object. Let me write here. Amount of space inside boundary of a 2D object. 
So when you talk about 2D object, the popular figure which is known to us as triangle, circle, square, then rectangle, this parallelogram, or even any any figure, yeah, any figure, something like this, this is also a 2D object, right? Any any figure. So the amount of space enclosed inside a 2D object, inside the boundary of a 2D object, this is called area. Right. For example, and this is typically used if you want to get a particular uh, area or 2D object painted or plot or you want to get something done or you want to buy a plot, then uh, the total cost is based on per square foot area. Right? So for example, if you want to get this whole thing painted or if you want to get this whole thing cultivated and you have fixed price per square foot, you have to pay X rupees uh, for cultivation. If the total area is 10 square foot, then you have to pay 10X. Something like that, right? And we know the area of popular figure, for example, area of rectangle, we know its length into breadth. We know area of square, if it is square, then it is side square. If it is circle, it is pi r square. Triangle, we know if we know the height of the triangle, we know the base of the triangle, then it is 1 by 2 into b into h. Correct? So we know area of some popular figure. An area of a figure is nothing but a number. It is number in some units. And this unit can be meter square, centimeter square, hectare, acre or something. Right? And this number is actually associated with the part enclosed. So if the, if the area is more, the number is more. If the area is less, the number is less. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.